After a while from the imam's imprisonment, Mu'tamid had to refer to the imam and free him. A severe drought had hit Samara and Mu'tamid ordered the people to pray for rain. The Muslims prayed for three consecutive days, but it did not rain. On the fourth day, the Christians, including their leaders and monks, went outside the city to pray for rain, and it rained. Large drops of water would fall from the sky every time one of the monks among the Christians raised his hands towards the sky. To the surprise of the Muslims, the Christians repeated their prayer the next day and it rained again. As a result of the Christian prayers, the need for water was fulfilled. This incident caused a serious doubt among the Muslims about their faith and some were even attracted towards Christianity. This unpleasant news forced Mu'tamid, the Muslim's caliph, to act. He ordered to release Imam Askari from the prison and brought him to his presence. He talked to the Imam about what had happened and asked the Imam to save the faith of the nation of his forefather, the Prophet. The Imam told Mu'tamid to ask the people to leave the city for their prayer on the following day. Mu'tamid responded that the people no longer needed water. The Imam replied that his intention was to remove doubts from the hearts of the people. The following day, the Imam and the people went outside the city. The Christians prayed for rain, and when a particular monk raised his hands toward the sky again, it began to rain. The Imam then asked to hold the hands of that monk and bring what he was hiding in his hand. A small bone found between the monk's fingers and was brought to the Imam. The Imam then wrapped the bone around a piece of cloth and asked the Christians to pray again for rain. This time when they prayed, it did not rain. Instead, the clouds dispersed and the sky became sunny. The Caliph asked the Imam about the bone and the Imam responded that the bone was a remain of a prophet and that whenever a bone of a prophet is exposed to sky, rain would fall. The Caliph was delighted by the Imam's guidance and freed him with high respects. The Imam then asked for the release of his companions from the prison, which the Caliph accepted.